It's Brady. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I am so glad that you are here. And today we're going to check out the disaster to delightful hall closet where we store all the things. So if you like organizing, if you have a small space that you're interested in organizing, stay tuned because that's exactly what we're going to do today. <music> All right, so I'm coming to you from my couch over here and this video has been a video long in the making because I started many, many months ago and try and decluttered it, uh, decluttered the closet and started trying to organize it. I even bought a shelf for it um, and it just, it just took some time. And then I finally found the bins that I wanted because I didn't want to waste money or you know I really wanted to to get this right because I've tried to organize this closet many many times and it just never stuck so one thing that I would like to note is that there's always going to be it's probably best practice that about once a month I recommend you go through your small space and put your hands on it organize it you know straighten it back up so even the perfect system is going to require that it's just especially now if it was just me that might not be the case but when there's four of us getting in and out of that closet getting things that we need you know if we have a guest over like you know our parents or something and they're like you know trying to help us get something and so they get in there and get it you know there's just a lot of hands and you know it just takes every now and then for one person to focus and get in there and be like okay this needs to get straightened back up, yada, yada. So, um, we have been using this system actually for well over a month. Maybe, no, probably over two months now. And I'm happy to say that it looks exactly like it looks at the ending footage that you're going to see. So, it has been something that we've been able to stick with and I love it. Um, I am really, really excited to share this with you. So there's quite a bit of footage that I have sorted through, but I hope it makes sense and I can't wait to show you how it went from this to this. Yeah, big difference. So um, for me, this has been it sounds silly to say, but it has been life changing. So I'm really excited to share it with you. If there are any products that I can link, I will link them down below. I think everything is mainly from Target or Sam's Club. Um, so I will try to link those down below if those items are available to link for you. And yeah, let's just jump on in and start this crazy project. All right, so here is the disaster that is our hall closet. It is a lot. It was purely chaos, um, no rhyme or reason, lots of couponing items and household items and random junk that nobody knew what to do with, Sam's Club Overflow, you know, you name it. There's even chargers for all sorts, you know, just everything you can think of with the vacuum thrown in on top. So, um, the hot water heater is also back in there, so that makes this cabinet tricky. It is just a hot mess. All right, so here's a look at stuff all pulled out of this closet. And more it got brought on the countertops. So here's what it looks like. Um, it needs to be repainted in here. That's just scuff marks. It's not actually dirty. It was that way when we moved in, we have just yet to paint it. So. I need to do that, but I'm not doing it today, and I really need to get this uh, shelf put in here. So we've got toilet paper, paper towels up there, but I haven't pulled that shelf down. But there's that. So this is partly why it's such a mess, is because this is a really narrow, weird closet. 
um, where the hot water heater is. So, um, let me see if I can show you with what it looks like with the new shelf in. So, here's the new shelf. We, my husband put that together for me. And that looks atrocious, but that's just that carpet. And once my husband wakes up, he sleeps due to working day shift, or not day shift, night shift most of the time. And so, so anyways, I didn't want to get the vacuum cleaner out and wake him up. So, I'm actually going to, the perk of this is that this can move. And then you can lock those wheels. So, it's not wanting to show you how well it moves right now, but there you go. So, what I'm going to do is... When I want to pull all this out, it'll be a lot easier because of that. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to load this shelf up and then be able to scoot it down about to here. And then I'm going to have my mop and my vacuum right here, easy access. And I think that's going to be much better. So I'm going to start putting stuff back in here. I'm going to need some bins. I know that because these are a lot wider shelves um, and taller shelves, but um, I'm very excited to get those little shelves out of here. And um, the goal is that the floor will also be open and empty. So um, we'll put stuff that like we need to reach less frequently on that end. And then this is what I was talking about. I'll put my vacuum and my mop here. And then in the next year or so, we are going to replace all the carpets in this house with um, like the vinyl plank, like faux wood flooring. And um, when we do that, we will also do the closets. So I'm not really concerned about it. It looks terrible, but at the same time, it's always been that way. Um, it just needs to be replaced. But I can paint in here and I can vacuum it out and that'll help. And so I will do that, just not today as part of this project. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some stuff back in here and then I'll show you what it looks like when I get it all put in there. Okay, so I think we're kind of at the halfway point. I'm definitely to the point where I know that I need bins and um, what bins I need. So you can see there's still a whole ton of stuff out. <laughs> Um, and then trash that we've, you know, like taken apart things and all that good stuff. So there's definitely a lot here to keep up with. And in an, in I, in an ideal world, I would have a cabinet, you know, a, a closet. And that's all that needed to go in here was this kind of stuff. But it's just not the case because, you know, then like there's all that stuff up there. And I'm not even sure like if some of that... Like that could probably move to my laundry room area. Um, but like that can't go in the shed cause it can't get wet. It's the weed eater battery and charger. It can't get damp um, and different things like that. So, and paint that can't go out there, but we're gonna finish up our painting projects in the next month or so. So that'll be cleared out, but it's just a lot. Um, it's a lot. So at this point, I think I'm just gonna try my best to somewhat neatly get everything back in here that's going in here and then um I don't know and then go from there so I need to figure out what bins I want to get I do want to get some more of these like shoebox bins with lids so that things like batteries craft supplies razor blades and stuff that all of that can stack neatly on these tall shelves um but stay organized. I want to get rid of these. These just, these are from the Dollar Tree. They do not, they do not serve us well at all. So those definitely need to go. Um, this cleaning caddy I got is a mistake. I had ordered a fridge bin of all things through a shipped order one time a couple months back and then they substituted it with this. So I don't even know what they thought going on there, but um, this actually worked out in my favor though, because they gave me my money back because it wasn't what I ordered and said, you know, you can keep the item. And I was like, okay, what am I going to do with that? But then the more I've thought about it is how great would that be to have something I can just pull out, do my weekly cleaning with, 
and then just put it back nice and neat. And the ones that I have open and I'm using are right there. Um, we have our soap up here in this basket for now. We have our dental hygiene stuff, just toothbrushes, toothpaste, floss, um, that sort of thing in there. And then the flushable, non-flushable <laughs> wipes. Uh, we have a lot of tissues right now because I just went to Sam's. Same thing with those wipes. And then disinfecting wipes. Can never have too many of those during this season. All that stuff up there. And I'm not even sure, like, if some of that, like, that could probably move to my laundry room area. Um, but, like, that can't go in the shed because it can't get wet. It's the weed eater battery and charger. It can't get damp. Um, and different things like that. So, and paint that can't go out there. But we're going to finish up our painting projects in the next month or so so that'll be cleared out but it's just a lot um it's a lot so at this point i think i'm just going to try my best to somewhat neatly get everything back in here that's going in here and then um i don't know and then go from there so i need to figure out what bins i want to get i do want to get some more of these like shoe box bins with lids so that things like batteries, craft supplies, razor blades and stuff, that all of that can stack neatly on these tall shelves, um, but stay organized. I want to get rid of these. These just, these are from the Dollar Tree. They do not, they do not serve us well at all. So those definitely need to go. Um, this cleaning caddy I got is a mistake. I had ordered a fridge bin of all things through a shipped order one time. A couple months back and then they substituted it with this so I don't even know what they thought going on there but um, this actually worked out in my favor though because they gave me my money back because it wasn't what I ordered and said you know you can keep the item and I was like okay what am I gonna do with that but then the more I thought about it is how great would that be to have something I can just pull out do my weekly cleaning with and then just put it back nice and neat and the ones that I have open and I'm using are right there. Um, we have our soap up here in this basket for now. We have our dental hygiene stuff, just toothbrushes, toothpaste, floss, um, that sort of thing in there. And then the flushable, non-flushable <laughs> wipes. Uh, we have a lot of tissues right now because I just went to Sam's. Same thing with those wipes. And then disinfecting wipes. Can never have too many of those during this okay. season. So then, you know, I just... There's certain things that, you know, are just going to be enough things that would fit in these buckets. So I want to get some more of those, which those are only like a 99 cents to a dollar each. So that won't be a big deal to get those. But then like my extra soaps and Bath and Body Works, like candles and shampoo and conditioner, which I'm really getting out of having a bunch of those things. So I may even just donate those. Um, I'm kind of streamlining how I'm buying that. And then, you know, just the random things, school supplies and lunch boxes and, I mean, just stuff. Um, we have a whole bag of donate so far, a whole, like, Walmart bag of donate stuff. But anyways, what I was saying is I need, like, a bin to put, um, that I could keep my soaps and things in so they don't fall over on the grates of that rack. And then we do have quite a few, um or of coupon because the seventh generation all those clear ones are my favorite but they're pretty expensive so when i can get them um with coupons for like a dollar or a dollar 49 i get them but then we've had a lot of them so i haven't purchased them in many many months but um and in fact i was tempted at the last kroger mega event because they were a dollar 49 but um i didn't do it because i knew that i had some back in here so I wasn't sure how many because I couldn't see it, but I knew I had some, so I'm glad I didn't purchase that. And then, so like I said, at this point, I think I'm just going to try my best to kind of put everything on the shelves. It's not going to make any sense, but um, just try to get them in there for now. And then I'll get those bins. And sorry, we've got some lighting. Trying to this, There's no light in this closet, so we're trying to put some artificial light in here for y'all. But anyways, so, you know, just a couple of things like this for these things, like a bin for soaps, because I do keep quite a bunch of those on hand at a time, and a bin for the Bath and Body Works candles and stuff, and a bin for um, dish soap and cleaning products. 
So, you know, I'm trying to streamline how I'm buying these things now. I'm not doing as much extreme couponing where I kept so much stuff. Um, and believe me, like the way I used to coupon, that's hardly anything compared to how many shampoos, conditioners, body soaps that I used to keep on hand. Um, but I still have this stuff to work with. So in the meantime, and then like candles, I'll always keep a bunch of those, you know, I mean, it just it is what it is. So hopefully I can find the bins that I need that'll work for that. But for now, I have, this is our main hallway through our house. So it has to get picked up and put in here somehow. And hopefully I can do that to the best of my abilities where it's somewhat neat and not just thrown in here, but it's definitely gonna be a project for another day. I'm probably gonna do a target order. Well, I'm gonna do a drive up order, but anyways, I'll probably add those bins to that. And uh, when I get a few grocery things, and hopefully, hopefully that'll work out and we'll be able to find what we need. So that's a wrap for now. Okay, so this is everything just shoved back in here. Um, you know, it's kind of disheartening to just shove it in there. But it didn't have the bins. So I had not originally um, planned to do this project today, but my husband put this shelf together for me the other day when he was off work, when it came in. And so it's been sitting in the living room and I just really was sick of it being in the living room. And so I was like, I need to at least get it put in the uh, closet. So now those other two shelves are in the living room, but you know, uh, it is what it is. So progress has been made and I will update y'all when I get the bins and containers that I'm looking for to further organize. All right, y'all. So here is a look at the mostly finished product. <laughs> Um, I think this is as finished as it's going to be. I think I am going to try to get a different container for these. Um, but for now, this is working. So here's kind of an overview. Clearly, we need to buy paper towels and we are starting to get low on toilet paper. Um, but I am so happy that we finally have these big baskets. These I will link down below. They are from Target. If I can find something similar on Amazon. If that's more feasible to you, then I'll link that too. Um, it is scuffed up in here. It needs a new paint job. The carpet is from the 1980s, but it's clean. It's just stained and funky looking. But um, it is nice and clean in here um, and about as perfect as it's going to get in this house. So um, let's start up here. And I don't know why Marshall and a box of chalk are hanging out up here. Um, and those are supposed to go in that basket up there, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is the reality. I finished this cabinet or this hallway closet about a week ago, and you can see that people are starting to just stick random things if there's a hole. Um, so <laughs> that's, that's the never ending battle in this house. But if you can see, this does go up really tall in here. So two too tall of the nine pack packages out of a Sam's Club pack of toilet paper do fit in here. So we've got four of these nine counts of toilet paper right now, but um, here in about a week or two, we will buy some more. So we've got room for about four more packs because we stack them too high. Um, we can stack there. Now, all of this uh, that's supposed to be open here behind these little cheapy um, fill-in paper towels um, are supposed to be room for the 15 rolls of a Sam's Club back pack of Members Mark toilet paper. And then back in here, we decided to go ahead and put one of these large bins because we have things like my husband's drill and drill bits and hammer and a mallet, you know, things like that. He just likes to have here in the house on hand and not way out in the shed. And then those, like I said, those little paint samples and flooring samples need to go back in there too. But then the rest of this should just be paper towels. So I'll move those four things in a moment, but that's all that that shelf is supposed to hold. So it did have my iron and all kinds of stuff up there, but now my iron is just tucked back beside that 
basket and then all of the hardware type things are back in there. If you didn't see before, it's really hard to see back in there, but the water tank, water heater tank is back there. So um, it's kind of a weird little cabinet but or closet, but it does work. Um, I think my husband suggested we get, yeah, my husband suggested that we get a couple more of these um, under shelf baskets to go through here. So we'll probably do that. Um, but that's just so we can keep the kids little outside things that don't need to stay outside all year round out there. Bubbles, you know, different things. Slime, things I don't want them having quick access to. And then up here, so like I said, I'm trying to figure out where these things are going to go. For now, they're right here, but we'll see. I don't really like the way this looks um, with this sitting here because if you can see back there, there's that one conditioner. I want this section right here to be open like this and have room for a backup shampoo, conditioner, body wash um, for the girls and I um, to go right there. So we'll see. Um, as well as, you know, there, there's hand sanitizer just sitting here. So, um, but all of this is bars of soap. My husband uses bar soap. So those are there. Then. We've got hand soaps and hand sanitizer, more hand soaps. And then all of this back here is boxes of Kleenex. This can hold 15 boxes, which would be a Sam's Club box or package. So, um, although I'm hoping I can get the same deal I got on these a while back. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, I'll link the grocery haul where I got these for like $2.99 for a six pack. <laughs> of the name brand Kleenex Ultra Soft Tissues a while back and it's looking like that deal may happen again. So um, in that case, there's room here for, you know, like I said, 15 or so boxes of tissues. Okay, this whole second shelf, and if I didn't mention before, but this is from Sam's Club and so I will link that down below too. Um, I think it was only like $39 and it is, you know, like restaurant quality, so. It's not going anywhere, but it is on wheels. We've just locked it so we can pull it out for, you know, cleaning and that sort of thing. This whole second shelf is cleaning stuff. So I've got like my quick cleaning kit, like my pine sole, my kaboom, the little spray bottle for my spray mop, um, gloves and attachments to the vacuum, my Swiffer duster, and now those cleaning magic eraser sheets. And then I use this Ajax sometimes on my floor or in cleaning. So that goes there and it's like a little cleaning caddy with a handle. We've got my spin mop bucket. And then back in there, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see really well, but this is like extra cleaning supplies. So this has got extra Clorox wipes. We've got an extra fabric softener in there, some extra dish soap, extra gloves, extra hand soap refill, and then the Clorox toilet wand refills and it's a tight fit here but it does it does work then my sprays that i did keep on hand um we needed to keep our windex um this is a multi-surface cleaner from method and then i've got an extra spray bottle right there and it's kind of a nice way to keep them hanging not getting uh, pressed on to where they leak or anything like that let me stop here and show you since we're talking cleaning supplies this is my, obviously my vacuum, my spin mop handle, the two longer vacuum attachments, and then my Rubbermaid spray mop. So they just all fit right there. The third shelf from the top here is medicine, um, first aid type things all in here. Um, so extras because we shop in bulk for allergy medicine, Tylenol, ibuprofen, band-aids, gauze, neosporin, all of that, Pepto, a blood pressure monitor, you know, all of those things are right there. And then this basket back here is my smell good stuff. So it's all of our Bath and Body Works candles, extra candles, um, like from Aldi and stuff. Um, and it looks like we've also got a wax warmer back there too. Then on the very bottom, this is kind of exploding already, but um, it is what it is. This is my paper products. So my extra, my extra 
um, Ziploc bags, paper cups for if we have people over or need them for the girls for a painting project, some extra plastic cutlery and paper bowls, some crock pot liners, that sort of thing. And I love that these are big baskets, so we are um, organizing by category, but we're not worrying about being very tedious. Because for my household, if we are very, very tedious in all these teeny tiny categories like I've done before, it doesn't last because someone inevitably doesn't want to stick with it. So in here, and I'm going to pull this out. All right, I'm going to pull it out so you can see better. But we've got double A's, triple A's. I didn't say already, it's batteries and light bulbs in here. Then we've got our light bulbs for the bathroom and the regular light bulbs for the rest of the house, plus some little lamp bulbs. These are the kind we need for the bathrooms. So that just tells me what I'm looking for. And then I'm not sure which kind of batteries those are. Um, oh no, those are triple A's. These are double A's. And then those are like all the miscellaneous watch batteries, etc., And a box of D batteries. And then over here, so this is kind of more random junk drawer type stuff. Just extra seeds, glow sticks, again, an extra night light because, you know, if that runs out, we're not going to be happy. Uh, the girls are not uh, clothespins, that sort of thing. This is our extra oral care stuff. So we have an extra of our mouthwash, flossers, little travel toothpaste we get from the dentist. Um, and then when we, I need to get a backup of my husband's, mine, and the girl's toothpaste so that they can be all in here. Extra toothbrushes, extra kid toothbrushes, some floss. Up here is shaving care. So we've got extra razors and an extra shaving cream for each of my husband and myself. And then this will be open for any extra supplies we find as well. So... Here is an overview once again. Again, not Pinterest perfect here, but it's organized and it's gonna keep me from overbuying and <laughs> keeping us on track with knowing what we have, being able to access it, and most importantly, being able to put it away neatly again. And hopefully with just a little bit of maintenance, you know, coming in here and tidying up once a month or so, that we will be able to keep this up. Okay y'all, so that's it. I cannot believe how well this closet uh, reorganization project turned out. It is definitely not, you know, like super Pinterest worthy. I'm not here for that. Although those things look beautiful and they look awesome and the home edit stuff looks amazing. I need real world practical stuff that's gonna work in our little home for our family. Um, so. I love it. I am super thrilled with how it turned out. We were able to do it on a budget. Um, I may still go in and add the little uh, command hook clip things um, to the wall to get those, uh, the mops and everything up off of the floor. But otherwise, I love it how it is and we are thrilled. So that's everything that I've got for y'all today. If you got to the end of the video, leave me a comment down below and I don't know, leave me a fun emoji if you made it. Let's see, what emoji do we want? Um, I don't know, leave me a flower down in the comments down below if you made it all the way to the end, just so I can see how many people made it to the end of the video. And um, yeah, let me know how you're doing. If you're new and you've just never said hello before, say hello in the comments. I genuinely love connecting with y'all there. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see y'all in the comments down below until our next video. Bye y'all.